Hey there. We're going to do a short one today about a very specific subject, and that's Zamrock. Uh, I'm not going to go into the history of Zamrock. There's plenty of uh, videos on YouTube where you can, or you can read up about it online. Um, but Zamrock is music that started, has its roots in the early 70s in Zambia, Africa, and a number of bands, one of which I'm going to be talking about today, which we intend to cause havoc, started out and were very successful in Zambia. And I'll tell you what, I discovered this fairly recently, and it's just amazing for my, it ticks off every box of things that I like, garage, um, psych, blues, hard rock, um, you name it. A lot of it, in the case of which, it's kind of got like a popular vibe to it, although very DIY-ish, like they em emulating the Stones and Jimi Hendrix and things like that. But I want to start out with their first album, Introduction, which Introduction, and this was, um, they released it, they self-released it in 72, Oh, and then a few years later, they actually re-recorded the entire album and released it with this cover. This is a, all of the records I'm going to show you are now and again records released, re reissues, re-releases, and they're all done really well. I, can, I can't say enough about the quality of these now and again reissues. Okay, so this is introduction. This is the art for the... The band uh, got picked up by some label in Africa, and this is the uh, 2021 release on red vinyl. Um, they've even, looks like they've got the, the artwork for the labels in there. And it, this is uh, by far my favorite of the Witch albums. It is raw, it's super catchy. And it, the, everything that I like is in this. It's got great fuzz guitar. Uh, the vocals are, are raw. They're, they're really well done, but they're raw. And, and recording-wise, same thing. But the Witch introduction is a great one as far as I'm concerned to start with. A lot of people have been talking about Witch, race, witch recently because they've been discovering them. Now, this is their second album in the past, which was released in 74. This is a 2021 Now and Again Records on some kind of opaque green vinyl. And um, in the past is their second effort, and it's great. It's a great album from start to finish. It's my third favorite behind Introduction and Lazy Bones, which is what I'm going to show you next. Lazy Bones, their third album, released in 1975. This is once again a 2021 uh, release. And it's on very orange vinyl. Lazy Bones uh, really kicks in. They got their they got their groove, they got their style, and they they start kicking kicking butt on lazy bones. What I would do if I were you is start grabbing these before they are impossible to find or very expensive. The next one is Lucombo Vibes, 1976, and this is a 2013. Now the the original seventy six by the by the band and then this now and again record two thousand thirteen are the only versions of this release. So this one, if you're sitting on the fence over, I would say get out and grab it. I missed out on um, I had to pay a, a premium for it, not not much higher. But so the combo vibes is the same music by which except they have their songs that are more afro beat afro vibe sound to them a few of the songs but all in all it's got that same psych garage feel to it 
and I really enjoy it. Now I'm going to save for last. It mentioned their first album introduction. It was uh, recorded in '72, and two years later they got picked up by some small African label. Well, they re-recorded the entire album. I mean, from scratch. So this is now and again records uh, 2021 release of introduction of the first private release and as you can see it has different artwork they've kept the artwork original and it even has just like the other ones it has the the original artwork on the labels i don't have the fifth witch album it was only released in the 70s or there hasn't been any reissues other than the now and again box which is really hundreds of dollars and just to get a crappy unplayable copy of the original or 70s releases is hundreds and hundreds just to get a G plus or no cover or you know a G good cover completely blown away is hundreds of dollars just for an unplayable copy so I'm going to wait for a reissue of the standalone fifth witch album. I have it on CD so I can get to listen to it. But as far as vinyl goes, like I said earlier, get out. You can hear all this stuff on YouTube for free. If you're anything like me, you're going to, you're going to fall head over heels for this stuff. And that's it for now. See you next time. Thanks for watching.